welcome back at our channel at Quick Anil. We received an email to say, please explain to us what's spring back and what's the importance of annealing in relation to spring back. So we've already annealed some PPU brass and some Lapua in 2 to 3. This is actually one of the core functions and benefits of annealing. We don't want spring back if you are looking for accuracy and consistency. Spring back means basically over the use of a brass, over time shooting and working it in your dice, it actually becomes hard and brittle. So when you resize it, especially if you bump it back, at the end of the day, it does not keep that setting or the bomb back, meaning the brass is hard and it goes back to the memory of the hardness. And that is the, one of the main reasons why we anneal, is to keep that ability or to have that ability to actually alter and manipulate our brass. Meaning if we do a resize, partial, full, whatever you guys like, then actually the brass will stay in that form and don't go back to the memory state. So that is one of the key reasons why we do anneal. So as I said previously, I've already uh, bumped the shoulders back uh, two thousandths of an inch on, on these brass. I've already measured them. They are two thou. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them for three days and five days. And let's see if we have creep. So a lot of the people also say what a creep or don't know what a creep. It's actually we've sized it to two thousands on the shoulder and the bomb back. So after three days, I've got some samples here. After three days, we'll come back and we'll check if they're still in two thousand, meaning if they don't go back to one and a half or one thousand, that is actually bad for your groups and your ears because we would like that two thousand to stay that way. So if it creeps back, it, maybe it's not annealed uh, best possibly, or um, it's part of the brass or the manufacturer that you maybe use. But um, we don't want it to, to go back because we don't like the creep. That will influence our accuracy and the type groups that we all hope and strive for. So I'm going to leave these for three days, come back, measure them for you, and we're going to do a five day and see if they, they keep their help. Obviously, from our side, from annealing, we would love them to keep it. It just shows our machine and equipment is working and that we are on the right track. See you guys in three days time. This is our three day measurement. I just want to show you guys quickly here with the rubber band. Just again on this whole issue. So let's say the rubber band represent your case. It's not been annealed for a few times. You've shot it. For a few times and now you try to size it or bump it so because it's hard and brittle you will see it goes back the whole time so you don't get your 2000 bump or whatever you're you're looking for on this example this represents a case that has been annealed so you see whatever you mold it to it normally keeps that type of form and that is what we're looking for and that is what we are going for when annealing so I'm going to continue and measure our cases. This is the Lapua. So we started off with a minus two thou. Now we are just going to see after three days if it kept that 0.5. It's just me, I can feel it's not 100% there. So let's do the next one. This is after three days. As we say, we don't want creep. 
because um, that means our bras go to back to the memory state, which we don't want. We, we are looking for that 0 0.02 or 2000, and there we are. So it looks very promising at this stage. Just want to get that in there 100%. So let's quickly do one or two of the PPUs on video. Then I'm just going to continue to measure the rest for you. So this is on the, the PPU. Uh, yeah. So I will just continue. I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of the measurements. This is after three days. And it looks like at this stage that there's no creep coming back, meaning it kept after three four, three days i think it's now actually four days it kept it all the research actually shows as soon as you work it in a die it automatically will will give you the final reading it's not supposed after three or four days to start going back to the memory but just for sake of this experiment and for this video we are measuring a three day and we're also going to measure a five day Thank you so much. Um, next, checking in with you guys on five days. Welcome back. This is five days. Again, we start with the Lapua. So, we are fine there. On the PPU. Yeah, so I'm quite chuffed with the results. They basically, I'll say 98-99% stayed the same. Uh, some of the measurements, it could be me on, on my side. But I will be comfortable shooting these loads and taking it hunting, taking it competition wise. So I'm happy after five days that there's not any creep for me or that it's... You really don't have to take it into account. So we're going to conclude. And thank you so much for watching. And see you guys in the next one.